Hey, how you doing out there in YouTube land? This is Stiletto coming at you from the Wild Wild West. Today we got a boxing. An unboxing of one I think a lot of people are going to want to see. Background music is my daughter, Mars Ghana, and she's playing some of her music in the background. But anyway, let's get started. Whoa, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is coming from the Knife Center, people. This was ordered in from the KnifeCenter.com. Wow, my big holdout. There it is there, the big holdout. A new counterpoint, new counterpoint one, because the other one I had I traded it to um, one of my buddies for something I needed. So I got another one to keep my collection. And the big one, the XL people. We're gonna see what the XL looks like. All right. This is the receipt. You always keep your receipts. When you buy cold steel knives from online um, vendors or whatever, if anything's wrong with them, you need your receipt when you, if you need to send it back to cold steel. Very good. Set this aside. Set that aside. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Been waiting for the cold steel XL. A little tricky to get unlocked there. Wow, this sucker's big. Centered perfect. Fitment looks really good on it. Feels beefy. It's a beefy filling blade. Oh yeah, that's massive there, dude. Looks like it's very well made, too. All the grind marks, even on the inside, look good. Blade super tight. Nice smooth lock bar. No gritty filling in the lock bar. This is a good one. KnifeCenter.com. Recommend everybody get one of these if you want one. This is a good one. They got good ones. All right. That's perfect. Nothing's wrong with it. It's everything I expected it to be. Now this is a real tactical knife. They need to make these in black. They need to put the DLC coating on them. Nice and thick blades. These blades are thick. Strong four millimeter thick blade. Heat treated aluminum liners. Zytel or rivery backspacer. Stainless steel. Lock bar. AUS-8A. Stainless steel blade with a um, bayonet grind. It's sort of like a saber. There's a flat grind from the mid from the mid section it looks like. But in the in the pictures it looks like it's a We all know the blade's super sharp. We don't even need to go there. 
the, the thumb stud is ambidextrous, ambidextrous on both sides. Very nice thumb stud. Very heavy feeling knife, it feels heavy. Feels really nice. Super good grip. Doesn't feel slippery at all in my hand, it feels like super good grip. This feels like a combat blade. This feels like a blade that you would go into combat with. If it was if it had black DLC coating, I think this would be an awesome tactical knife. To have, you know, to market it as a tactical knife. It's tight. It's beautiful. It looks like a big dagger. All right, I like that one. I'm gonna do another video with all three of them together. This one we're running out of time on. I'll do another video with all three of them together. But this is excellent. This is coming from the Knife Center. I recommend everybody that likes these, that's been thinking about getting one, get it. I've been waiting for two years for this knife to come. I'm gonna get another one. I want two. Now I see how nice they are. This is really a heavy duty stiletto. It's not a weak, wimpy stiletto. This is one that's really a nice, big, strong, heavy duty knife. I don't know how much weight it can hold off the end of it, but I bet you it holds a lot. If a Voyager could hold 450 pounds, this might hold 550 pounds. I don't know. This feels a lot more stout than the Voyager. It's a very stout feeling knife. It looks like it's meant for combat to me. It looks like it's a, it looks like it's a tactical knife, a true tactical knife, a tactical folder. It just needs a different coating. If it had a um, black coating, DLC coating, or some kind of camouflage coating, or non-glare coating, It'd be perfect for that. This is an awesome knife. Easy to open. Feels a little bit slower than the Counterpoint 1 though. Just because maybe I'm not used to it. It feels like you get over this hump right here when you open it with the thumb stud. And this is really tight. I haven't lubed it up, you know, and do all the things I do to make them look, be a little bit faster. But this one, I think all this needs is lube. This doesn't need any tuning as far as like burrs or anything. Because this one's a perfectly made knife. Sometimes from cold steel, the, 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 they, need, they need to be, you know, they feel gritty in the lock area and you have to smooth it out a little bit. I don't want to tell people to do that because if you do it wrong, you can mess up a knife. But if you do it right, you make it super smooth. But this one's super smooth already. No gritty feeling at all. Fitment is perfect on it. The blade is sits perfectly centered. Everything lines up with the, the scales perfectly. Quality control is high on these. Fitment is perfect on mine. I can't, you know, vouch for everyone that comes from the factory, but this one's perfect. This is what this is what I would call a perfect blade. Nothing's wrong with it at all. It's very nice. This is very well nice. This is the nicest one out of the Counterpoint series. That's a I'd go into combat with this blade. This blade's tight. It'd be good for thrusting and cutting. Excellent blade. Highly recommend it. I can't stop looking at it. I'm a stiletto person. That's why they call me stiletto. I know a lot of you don't like calling this a stiletto, but to me it is a big stiletto. It's not a small, narrow, bladed stiletto, but it's still a stiletto. Nonetheless, it's like, it's meant for stabbing, thrusting. That's what its primary purpose, so I would say, is. But this one with the wider blade is also good for slashing, too. So actually, for fight, being a fighter, this might be a better fighter. I don't know. I'm not a professional knife fighter, so I can't comment on that. But if I was to pick one for a knife that I was going to carry in a knife fight, I think I'd pick this one. This is a very nice knife. The blade is thick all the way to the tip. It's got a good, strong-looking tip. That's not a narrow tip. The Counterpoint one had a lot more narrow tip. This one has a thick blade all the way to the tip. I think it's made better than the Counterpoint one. I think it's be better than the, the, the Counterpoint three, too. Or Counterpoint two, whatever they call it. One and two. It's better than both of them. This is the best one out the bunch. And that's cool because it's 13. I like the big blades. 
This is the serious one. The Tie Light 6 is a different knife. It's a liner lock. It's a, a, a more of a traditional stiletto shape. As far as like the blade not being wide. It's got a nice narrow stiletto style blade. This one's blade is more like, you know, it's a bigger, wider blade, but it's still a stiletto style blade. It's a bayonet, you know, how much more stiletto can you get than that? It's a bayonet style blade for a folder. Which is common amongst all the stilettos. Italian stilettos. The handle shape is like a stiletto. But it's bigger and beefier. It's like a stiletto on steroids. It's, a, it's like a stiletto that took growth hormones. <laughs> but this one, this one feels like a real combat knife. This one doesn't feel like a, um, a novelty knife. It doesn't feel like... Um, you know, uh, I don't know, a wannabe stiletto or whatever. This feels like a real combat knife. This feels like a knife that's made for heavy duty. But anyway, I suggest that you guys check one out. Go ahead and get one. I'll do another video on these other knives I got, but we're running out of time on this one. So I'm going to have to cut this one off. But anyway, stiletto out. Peace. Have a great day. Counterpoint XL. <laughs>